Welcome to this short video on Utility Crossing. In our 2019 release, we've expanded our Utility Crossings, and we now have three different commands. If I come up here to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon, I go to Create Utility Crossings. If I go to the drop-down, we have three commands now. One is to create the Utility Crossings, one is to update the Utility Crossings, and one is to erase the Utility Crossings. And I'm going to demonstrate all three of them. So currently in Civil 3D, there isn't really a great command to be able to find all these utility crossings. I want to find all the crossings in my model at one time. To do this, I'm going to come up here to Create Utility Crossings Analysis. I'm going to select it. It automatically shows you all of your networks that you have in your model, whether they be pressure or gravity systems. I'm going to select them all. We have one option down here to say Draw Crossing Verticals, which will draw a line between the two pipes. You can either have that checked or not. What we're going to do here is we're automatically going to create points at all of these crossings and we're going to create a point group for you. So I'm just going to go OK here. You're going to get a little message if you get any pressure pipes in here. Basically, we're just giving you a little bit of a warning that you might want to check this if your pressure pipes have a curve on it and the utility crossing is at that curve. So I'm just going to go OK. And now you can see these points have been created. Now they're not just created there, they're anywhere there's a utility crossing. So you can see here also. Now with these points, we give it a name. So you can see storm and sewer. Storm is the upper pipe and sewer is the lower pipe. If I select on this point here, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to edit points. And the edit points dialog comes up. I slide this over to the end here. You're gonna see here, you're gonna see what the bottom network is and the bottom elevation. So the bottom network is sewer, that's the top of the uh, sewer pipe. Then the top network is storm, and that's the elevation of the bottom of that pipe. And we're now giving you the difference between them. So it's 2.483 meters in this case is the difference. So you can place these points in a table now and display all this information. So I'm gonna exit out of this. Now, the next utility we've done is, let's say I'm gonna move this. So let's go ahead and move this manhole here. And so now it's moved, and now that utility crossing isn't in that location. So all I do is come back up here to the ribbon to Kobe Toolkit. I'm gonna to go to the Create Utility Crossing drop down. I'm gonna select Update Utility Crossing Analysis. And there you can see it updated that point. Now, if I don't want these here anymore, I can always come back up here to the ribbon I can select Erase Utility Crossing Analysis, and it takes all of those out. This concludes this short video on utility crossings. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.